Hi. Good morning. I am also excited to go. Yes. Yes. Do you want to go, uh... Where do you want to go? In and out? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> Come up here then. You big goose. Okay. Bloody cold out there. Oh my god. Um, I have a, a van started now. I'm going to hit the road shortly. I'm a little scared as to what it's going to actually be like there out on the road because it's not really warming up just yet. So I was hoping that the, the roads would thaw out and that it would be safer for me to drive. And uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm assuming they're going to salt them. So at this temperature, salt should probably do the trick. But and it's only like negative five or something like that. But uh, I'm not used to that. I haven't wintered in a long time. Anyway, apparently like tomorrow it's going to be like 10 degrees or 15 degrees or something, so I just need to hold on for today, experience the cold for today, and then I'm off. Alright, well, let's hit the road. Alright, looks like we're in business. The, uh, Ice and snow are completely gone off the interstate part, just the on-ramps and off-ramps are icy, snowy, so I'm going to take it slow, but traction is fantastic, so not too worried. So if you want to understand how temperamental of a beast this van is, remember how I was saying the brake issues are bad? Not anymore. No, I bled them just slightly and totally fine now. Also, uh, remember how I said it was running hot? Not anymore. Not running hot anymore. Just decided not to. It'll probably come back. Oh yeah, remember that fuel pump issue? Totally gone. Sometimes when I fill the gas to the full, fullest, the uh, gas gauge still flickers up and down, but that's the only issue that's still there. I don't know. I don't know, man. So I decided to take a little break here at the town of Frisco. Check this out. It's surrounded by mountains. Wow, what a change in topography. We went from mountains to canyons. This is intense. It's a little bit warmer here. Uh, actually, in the sun, like, over on the corners and stuff, it was, it was like, I was in my t-shirt, you know? I was sweating. It was intense, but uh, right now I'm gonna do the hike up to uh, Hanging Lake. I'm gonna do the hike up to Hanging Lake. And uh, no dogs allowed, as is the case with uh, most American national anythings. You're not allowed the dog in the RV and you're not allowed the dog on the trail. You're just not allowed going. 
if you're, you know, going. But I love Dutch Champ in there. This one, it, it makes sense. Like, it's really popular and it's a very delicate kind of ecosystem, so... You know, don't want him introducing any extra drool, slobber, other things that ruin, you know, local wildlife or whatever. Anyway, let's check this out. I really wish I had my drone right about now, but uh, GGI's crappy little controller crapped out on me and I have to spend a good $300 to buy a new controller just because the power button doesn't work. I can't buy the part. I think I'm gonna look into just like wiring a regular switch, power switch, and just like bypassing that button altogether. And if I fry the controller, well, I have to buy a new controller anyway, so. Yeah, I could go for a Frankenstein. I think I should do that. Oh, that is one hell of a trail. It's not long, it's like an, a mile, I think, but it's straight uphill and, it, and it's beautiful and it's like so well done up and it's like, Oh, it's leveled out with steps, but the steps are like made of stone that's from here. There's stones just lying around. They just carved it up into the steps. It feels like super, super cool. I'm walking in some sort of old temple or something. Also, check out the cedar tree. The freaking bark spirals around and the cedar little bits are all like super thin. It's cool. Champ, what is it? Do you see the deer? Did you see them? That was a fantastic hike. I'm very tired. I drove down the road another hour and then I heard something about national forests and I was like, oh, well, that's a good idea. I didn't really want to like put a lot of effort into it because I thought it was gonna be really cold. But I guess because like my altitude has sunk so much now, because I was at like 10,000 feet last night. So now I think I'm at like 4,000, roughly. Anyway, I found some, uh, some national forests. This is a parking lot, uh, launching site for um, off-roading vehicles. I'm just gonna park right here overnight and enjoy the nothingness that is, you know, Colorado in the middle of the mountains. Beautiful. All right, Champ and I got ourselves a sweet little camping spot. We are totally good here for tonight. I know I'm definitely not moving the van. I am, uh, in the middle of nowhere, and I'm crossing into Utah tomorrow, so tonight's the night. A legal, bought in a store, paid for with cash, I paid taxes on it, joint. Look at this thing. Not for you, champ. All right. Fantastic fan is rolling. I'm excited about this, this is a first. This is 
very smooth. Wow. Oh, wow. And it doesn't matter if you smoke weed or don't smoke weed. If you smoke cigarettes, don't smoke cigarettes. I mean, obviously anything in excess is not a good idea, but... I get to try it once. When in Rome. legalizing it it's like professionally making it it's production it's quality control it's a lot of people making sure it comes out right that's kind of awesome and you know if you think about it imagine if they just just now legalized alcohol what would that look like probably a lot like this to be honest Commence the food montage? Yes, please. like this where I really remember oh yeah I make videos on the internet not on television so I can totally do this and like it's fine isn't that great I just make these videos for myself and I don't have people like nitpicking oh the oh, color correction is not right in that last part mm. for stoner dinner um, we're not having you know McDonald's or KFC or anything nope we're having chicken curry with quinoa and hot green jalapenos and some root I don't remember the name of. Mm. <sighs> That's good. That's good. Champ's verdict is still out on curry. Even if I make it really mild so that he'll like it, he's still kind of like not that into it. It's so good. I said that already. But it is. There are only a dozen peaks in the world that rise five miles high. You know that guy? Sunbeam mountains of the 